Hello YouTube, I thought I'd do a quick update on kind of what I've been doing in the background for the last couple of weeks. I haven't posted on the channel, but during that time that I haven't been posting, got some special news, at least from my perspective. So if you don't really know what happens in the YouTube world, at least in the background, once you hit this big milestone of 100,000 subscribers, which I did um, just a couple of weeks ago now, time's completely left me, but you get this lovely little thing which arrives in the post all the way from, I think it comes from Oklahoma in the US. Yeah, that's right. And um, it is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. So you get a nice little letter, which is completely generic. Everyone gets the same writing. And you get this lovely thing here, which firstly, I just wanted to thank you all for really, because this is uh, years worth, of, years and years worth of works. And here is what it looks like. It is made of metal. It's, it's lighter than you think. It's not like solid metal or anything fancy like that. And um, hopefully I'll get that set up behind my um, setup. I'm thinking I'm going to put it underneath there. It'd obviously be much further back. So if, if I put it in the middle, my big, my big fat head is going to block it every time. So, um, or I could put it behind the rocket. But let me know if you've got any ideas. But first things first, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who got their ticket to get me past that, whether that's your, you know, Mr. 99,999, because there would have been someone who pressed that button and got me to 100k, or whether it's my first one. I do remember my first subscriber, actually, and um, I, when I got the notification on my email, so in the early days, you get a notification every time you get a subscriber, that kind of gets turned off as you as you get bigger. But I, I starred that in my Gmail folder, which is quite good. So Chris, I won't show your surname, but you know who you are. You were the first person and, I, and taking a risk on a very small channel at the time. And um, I still see you pop up now and again, but um, crazy ride we've had so far. But I just wanted to take a bit of time to kind of reflect on the journey and also kind of explain the future of the channel, where things are going. So if you're not interested in that, obviously just click off. But um, hopefully there'll be some nuggets in there, not just on the investing world, but um, also on being a YouTuber and a content creator and what it takes to get this far. Now, I remember I've got all my notes up here. So... I posted my first video on the 7th of June, 2021. So it's taken just over three years to get to 100,000 subscribers, which is quite interesting. Now, one thing you might not know, and I, don't, I haven't told everyone this, not everyone will know this, but um, when I first started YouTube, I just went, I went all in. So I parted ways with my job. I'd only been there six months in, that, in, in, in the new job. Um, so to be honest, it was, a, it was a good, it was kind of the best thing I ever did, really. Best thing they ever did for me. And... Um, Stop there and I said, you know what, I'm going to do something for my own now, something for myself and I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it for, you know, a year and if, if it didn't work out, I'll, I'll go back. You know, the, I, my background was in the IT sales world and it's touch wood. It's a, yeah, it's a very lucrative world and, um, you, you know, if you're, if you're good at what you do, you can, you can get a job pretty easy in that space. So I thought, you know what, it's time to go solo. So I pretty much committed to making three videos a week it was at the time. I can't remember my exact schedule, but you can go back and look, whether it was Wednesday, Friday and Sunday or something like that. But I made three videos every single week for, for a long, 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 long time. Because kind of that, you know, that's always the YouTube advice. If anyone starts to just say, make lots of videos. And they are right because you have to make a hell of a lot of mistakes. If, you, if I go back through some of my old stuff, it is just utterly cringeworthy. But, you know, and I, w I would say it, it, it took about 50, 60, 70 videos even for you to kind of to start getting good, which I would, I would describe as getting good. You know, after the first three, you think, wow, I'm like so much better than the first one. You, you cringe at that. But then I go back and cringe over the rest. Um, but anyway, now, one thing, you know, with my with my journey so far, I never had anything really go viral in the early days. Some channels, they, they start and they just pop off and they go from nowhere. I've had a very traditional journey in that, you know, my, my videos would get dozens of views. Maybe if they're lucky, they'll get like 100 or something and that would be a big video. And it's been quite a slow journey to get there, which is good in a way because some people pop off and they, they grow really quickly or at least they grow their subscribers and then they can kind of die. But actually, I've been quite lucky that I've been fortunate to, to progress. Now, just to give you some perspective as well, if you're interested in again, a YouTube space and the YouTube numbers, that I've got my notes here. So if you don't know, to, to kind of start making money on YouTube, you need to get in the YouTube Partner Program and there's two requirements there. Basically, you need to get either 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I remember hitting that. That was around Christmas time of 2021. So it was pretty much took me six months to hit that. So it might be fast for some, might be slow for others, but that took me six months of work. And and during that time, of course, I'm not making not making any money at all. It's funny because 
I think making YouTube videos is very much like the investing world that all of the money that goes in, there's no benefit of it until much, much later on. You know, you're investing in huge amounts of kit, all this great camera gear. That, you know, I've, I've changed my cameras and mics and lighting. God, like um, like having hot dinners, like everything I've got that I'm looking at now is um, kind of totally different from when I started. But um, I had plenty of stuff from, from when I started because I was always interested in kind of photography and video, video, videography and stuff. But and I, I buy all the tech. I'm a, I'm a nerd at heart, if you haven't guessed already. So, I mean, I'm looking right now at four different microphones and I always like to try different ones and mess around with the sound because I always like to try and get my sound, sound right. But anyway, here's an interesting stat for you if you're interested. But during that kind of first 12-month period from 30th of July to the 1st of August the following year, in total, my ad revenue, here we go, it's a whopping number here, £2,360. So... Now, if you're good at math, you'll work out that you can't really buy much with that sort of money. So just to kind of put into perspective what it takes to, to grow a YouTube channel and to be successful. And yes, you can make money in other ways during that time. But this thing takes a very long time. And it's a great metaphor for investing in the long run and just being very consistent. And I think the biggest advice is also you, you just you can't give up. You can't stop. The best creators, you just keep trying new different things. And that's how you kind of move forward. One thing I did put here actually as well, which I'll talk about later, but if any of you ever want to start in in YouTube or anything like that, just do it. This platform and this way of making videos is, it, we're still so early, honestly. I have this conversation all the time with different creators in the background, but we are still so early here, right? There's always space for new people. Now, one thing I wanted to spend time on in here, I kind of is reflect on why like why bother doing this like what makes you know why why should i do this you know someone with no background in personal finance and investing why am i doing this and i guess part of that we'll never understand the answer for it was like well i thought why not i remember when i first saw so i was always interested in the personal finance and investing space and but more so from a us side you know you, all the big us creators you can kind of follow them and it's an interesting space. And of course, during you know the pandemic, things blew up. You saw people get more interested in it. Certainly got me more interested in investing because before, with, with what I had invested, it was just all over the place. Now, part of the reason I kind of did this is because I have made so many mistakes investing. and But like everyone else, I've made all of the classic mistakes. If, if I had just from the beginning of my investing career, just invested into an index fund every single month, I would be worth significantly more than I am today. And I really hope that that same mistake isn't done by many other people who will jump into all kinds of different crazy trades and stocks and these things and not even understanding what a stocks and shares ISA is. Anyway, I, I looked at the UK side of kind of personal finance and investing, and there were a few big names at the time. I say big, big in relation to the UK. And I thought, well, I think there's more space there. So I think there was space for, for me to someone to, to come in and kind of share my journey and also learn on, you know, on the job as well and to share that, to share that journey, share all those different tips and tricks. You know, because I I, 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 knew, I knew enough, but I didn't know anywhere near enough when I started, really. And it's a reflection as well that we, we're always learning in this space. And the truth is that when it comes to personal finance and investing, no one really knows what they're doing. You know, we're all winging it to a certain extent because we don't know the future, right? So we're just kind of making our best guess and trying to, to, to make things work for ourselves. And no one's got all the answers in this space. So anyway, I thought I would... Give us something a go. I saw a kind of gap in the market from a business perspective. That was kind of my first why when I started. Now, from 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 my background perspective, you know, I've got no background in investing, personal finance. Certainly from a, a family perspective, look, I don't come from any kind of wealthy family or family with money. Um, we were never destitute or poor, but I mean, money was never a topic that was talked about. Um, you know, from from my perspective, the money, I remember. You know, as, as a kid, getting 20 quid from or 10 quid from my mum and having to top up the gas meter, you know, at home on, on, on prepaid meters. And then when my parents split up, that put us in a bit of a, a worse financial position. Again, we were never, never food was off the table. But one thing I do remember um, uh, at school, it's a funny story. But it's, it's, it's an embarrassing story, really. But I remember, um, you know, we all qualified for, for free school meals. So at the, at the school I went to, you would get a this green laminated card I might change each month or whatever it was but you get this laminated card it had all the the days of the month and it would punch out effectively your um 
the day. So you 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 go, you go up and get get your food, and you punch out. And I remember when um, I first got it. Um, well, I was embarrassed, quite frankly. I was I didn't want to. I was too proud to use it. I didn't actually want to do that. You know that shame around not having money and not having having anything. So um, uh, I can't. I think I did that for a long time. I can't ever really remember consistently using it but I just uh, that yeah that wasn't a nice a certainly nice feeling and, and but also you shouldn't feel ashamed of that you're a, you're a kid you got no control over of your money but I think that's partly what drives me in a way that I don't come from any background where money was a topic investing was a topic and I guess I want to have a future for myself where that isn't even a, a worry or a concern so that's kind of where where I come from and, and why I started the channel. But I think moving forward, as the channel's got bigger, I think that mission has kind of slightly changed now rather than just saying, okay, well, I want to create a, you know, create a business and, and there's an opportunity here. I think there's a wider mission. I think as we built this community here on YouTube and all of you who are part of that in the comment section helping each other out with investing is to just kind of broaden out this conversation and make it better for us in the UK. You know, we, we are pretty far behind at least when it compares to, to the US and some other economies, about just personal finance and investing generally. It's always interesting, isn't it? Like you think of how many people can drive a car, and that is most people, yet how many people know what their second biggest asset is invested in, which would be like your pension, or what a stocks and shares ISA is, or what any of the ISAs are. Yet you can go out and spend 10,000 pounds, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 more, for example, on a car and finance that and not really understand what those things mean. And I hope I can play a bit of a part in changing that in the UK. And I think I think my my why now of why I do this is to is partly to make sure that more people can make better financial decisions. Because I think if you can make good financial decisions, you can completely change your life. Um in 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 a similar way of of when you do get behind a car and you first get your license and get that freedom, having having financial freedom is just an amazing goal. And I I do think I don't think more people can have that um, if they make the right choices, but we just we just don't know what to spend our money on. So that's kind of my background and and why. And I think my why will evolve over time of why I want to do this channel, what motivates me. But I think ultimately, until you know, until every adult in the UK has a stocks and shares ISA and can explain to you what that why they have that and what they're invested in, I think I don't think I'm going to stop. So. You'll be here on the journey for a very, very long time. And I do hope we can do this for a, a huge amount of time and have that back catalogue and, and showing you that journey because I do enjoy enjoying making that as well. Now, what's next? I put kind of future of the channel here. So I might I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. I've not gone on holiday or anything. Well, I've, um, I've been working on some stuff in the background. So hopefully, which will be quite an interesting project for all of you. And I hope it's going to be quite interesting. Um, I'm also wanting to build out a community at some point. I don't know exactly how that looks like, what that will look like. Um, all I will say, if you want to be part of that, or at least want to know when these things might be available, um, please let me know your email address and just add, add, add yourself onto the list. If you click on the link in the description, um, I'll just create a landing page. It might still be the landing page that says, uh, free stocks and shares spreadsheet, but basically any, anyone who's got that before you're already on the list. And it's crazy, really. There's thousands of people now on that list. And, um, I don't really publicize it. I don't, it's not like a monthly or weekly uh, newsletter or anything, but if you want to be part of any 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 kind of community, do let me know there and get yourself on that list and you'll be one of the first people to know. And hopefully that'll be something quite interesting um, moving forward. Um, what else? But yeah, I think, look, for anyone wanting to start out a YouTube channel or in, in this personal, personal finance and investing space, I say this all the time to people, but we are still early in this space, right? And these are the early days. Like this, this, this niche, this, you know, online media has not been saturated by by anything at all. So there's there's so much more room to grow. And um I don't know what the future holds in, in terms of what I want to do, but I definitely want to see where this goes and grow it to as big as possible. And and I, all I can really say is thank you for letting you be, you know, be part of part of this journey and thank you for allowing this to happen for me to, to create a full time business out of this and effectively, you know, manage my own life and let myself do do whatever I want, which mostly involves reading lots and lots I almost live a, bit, a life a bit like Warren Buffett in a way. I spend all my life either con consuming content or news and then trying to think of video ideas. And then, of course, it's a very lonely job after that because you're just scripting, filming, editing, 
rinse and repeat. Um, many people think the life of a content creator is quite glamorous, but actually, at least for, for me, as a, as a talking head, someone not going out doing prank videos, this very much is, is what you do. So thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Uh, hopefully this is just the start of a very long journey. Thank you to all those people who, who clicked on someone's video clearly when they've only have a few, a few dozen subscribers and thought, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a subscribe because every one of those that came through on my phone in those early days was that little bit of motivation I needed for that day to get me through. And now, of course, it's still huge motivation, but it's on a different scale. And those people that comment, um, especially in the early days, again, if, if, if you ever do find a small content creator that you like, like and comment on their video because they'll see it and it means the world so and it, and it still means the world so I, and I see all the regular people that that comment on my videos um and it does mean the world to, to create that community even though many of you if you're if you're a regular viewer of UK finance and investing YouTube many of you already know way more than the average person like you, you and sometimes I have to figure out okay do I want to make this video more advanced or a bit more beginner level and I'm always torn right I get I get people commenting at me saying either things are too basic or I get people commenting things saying, oh, I still don't understand some of the basics, so you can't really win, right? But anyway, thank you so much to everyone who who, who comments in there and helps grow the community. And hopefully we can we can build something together. I will say in the UK, I think we do have a really good set of, of, of creators. So I do see, you know, in the background from my analytics, I can see who you guys watch. And I, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, the big channels we here, have here in the UK. We've got a good balance of the qualified financial advisors, obviously, who are experts in their space, and then people like myself who don't come from that professional background, they're limited to what they can necessarily say because they're in a regulated environment, whereas a bit more of a kind of a free-for-all from, from my perspective. But we've got we've got a good space and there's always room for, for more voices. So if you ever want to start, honestly, I still think there's plenty of room in this space. But anyway, not much more to say on that one. Thank you so much for getting us to where we are now. I will see you in the next video and it'll be rid of me not to sign off by saying... Happy investing.